Architectural drawings are graphics that show how a building goes together. In this video, we'll discuss how they're made and look at some different types. We see things in perspective, meaning that we think sets of parallel lines converge and that objects get smaller as they get farther away. This makes the drawing unmeasurable, therefore unsuitable for construction. Hence, we use orthographic drawings for construction purposes. These are 2D drawings that are measurable. They show height, width, and length, but not all in the same drawing that such as a perspective does. With orthographic drawings, they are made by imagining the 3D item inside a cube and then deconstructing it into multiple 2D views. Those views are top, front, and side. All built items start their life out as a series of orthographic drawings, such as this car. Even sewing patterns are orthographic drawings. They are a bunch of 2D drawings that, when put together, give instructions for a 3D garment. The floor plan is the heart of a set of orthographic drawings for a building. It is a top-down view made by slicing four to five feet above the ground. A reflected ceiling plan is a plan of the ceiling, so to speak. It's made by imagining a mirror on the ground and looking down, and that reflection is the plan you would draw. The foundation plan shows the structure underneath the building, and it is, its vantage point is made from the top of the foundation wall. An elevation is a height view of a wall. Here we can see the double doors, the furniture, and the arch all on that elevation view. A section drawing is done by slicing through the whole building and then showing what the building looks like at the part the slice was made. A wall detail or wall section is made by slicing through a portion of the building and then drawing that portion at a large scale to show how all the pieces go together. This is an electrical plan. It shows all items attached to a wire. In this plan, we can see which switches operate which light or which fan. This is a plumbing plan. In particular, it is showing the delivery of the fresh water to all the fixtures. This is a site plan, and it shows the building on the property. We see the property lines and the vegetation and contour lines and utility lines. This is a finish schedule. This shows all the finishes that go inside the rooms. A schedule is simply a list of components, and you have many types of schedules. All of these drawings and more are put together in a set of drawings that are called the prints. They shouldn't be called the plans, as a plan is a specific type. People call them blueprints, but blueprint is really a misnomer because a true blueprint is an old style printing process that leaves you with white lines on a blue background. Blueprints haven't been used in 40 years and they were replaced with white prints which um, are characterized by dark lines on a light background. Both blue and white prints are ammonia based printing processes though and neither are used anymore. To do them, you needed a transparent medium like mylar or vellum. And while manual drafters will still use these, strictly speaking, they're not needed anymore because with today's copying, this is a large format copier, 
they're just uh, digitally scanned and you can make a PDF or a hard copy. Of course, all construction drawings now are done with computers and then they are printed out on a large plotter like this one.